What's good guys? Welcome back to another episode of Class Analysis. This time, we're gonna have a look into the Zoner class. Now, these characters focus on playing from a distance and have a lot of moves that they can use to keep their opponents away from them. They usually have a slower and more meticulous playstyle and really focus on trying to wall their opponent out with projectiles. Let's get into some pros and cons. Some pros of playing this class is that you don't have to spend a lot of time in a dangerous situation. Since you're walling out your opponent, you're forcing them to try and break your wall and get in against you. This lets you be in a more comfortable situation farther away while your opponent has to deal with your projectiles and work to find a way in. Another pro is that you will always be doing something. When you are a zoning character, you need to strategically draw your projectiles in order to maximize your potential as a character. If you throw them out at the right time, you will either be able to hit your opponent, frame trap them, or force them to shield while you are close. These will all lead to you being able to get some more damage on them, and the fact that you get to be doing this all game and strategically play with your opponent like this is really appealing to some people. Now, some cons for this character is that if your wall does break, you are pretty much going to take damage. Once an opponent gets up in your face, it will be pretty tough to fight back at close range since most zoners moves aren't very safe up close. It's also harder to run away since your speed is also usually not the fastest. Another con is that you can't really approach. As I said with the rushdown characters, whose only valid option is to approach, zoners are pretty much the opposite. They only should wall and camp their opponent out as it's the most beneficial to them. So if you like a more fast paced character, I wouldn't pick them. But if you like to strategically play and break your opponent down, then I would definitely give them a go. That's it for the pros and cons. It's pretty much what you would expect when you think of a zoning character. So now that those are out of the way, let's take a closer look at how to maximize your playstyle. As I said earlier, you want to throw out your projectiles strategically. Just throwing them the same time and the same way the whole game will open you up to your opponent and allow them to easily get up close and punish you. If you see your opponent jumping, then send a projectile up high. Even predicting what your opponent is going to do when you're at a distance is a valid strategy because even if you miss, you still have time to reset. You also want to know when to move in. Since you can't just camp the whole game and expect to be able to take stocks off of your opponent, there has to be some times when you're able to hit them up close. Usually, this is when you either have your opponent in hit stun from a projectile or in shield stun. Make sure you understand your character enough to know how long your opponent will be in hit stun for, so you know where to space yourself before you send out your projectiles. A lot of characters also have kill confirm setups using your projectiles. The last thing is to not just blindly run away when your opponent gets close. While moving to the other side of the stage is definitely a valid option, you don't want to do it defenselessly. Throwing out a back air or a forward air while moving away will help you not get punished while you're leaving. When your opponent is close, you want to try and get away by taking the least amount of damage possible. And not protecting yourself will definitely lead to you taking a lot of damage. So make sure you throw out some hitboxes. That's going to be it for this video. Zoners are pretty interesting characters and even though they get a lot of hate for their playstyle, I think it's still a valid option and no one should be hated for picking a playstyle that suits them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.